Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The Channel Window Input section patches the selected channel to external or internal sources, depending on the channel type. The mixer has two independent sets of inputs, A and B. They can use the same I.O. devices and channels, or use different ones, as long as everything is assigned in the system inventory of this eMotion LV1. Choose an I.O. from the drop-down menu. The list is organized first by device, and then by I.O. channel. Each channel can be mono or stereo. Use flip to mono or flip to stereo. The I.O. menu now displays stereo pairs. To patch separately the left and right sides of a stereo channel, select or hold Control while opening the menu. When a stereo channel is flipped to mono, the top or left channel becomes the mono input. When flipping from mono to stereo, only the left channel is patched. The right channel can then be selected manually. On stereo channels, you can link together left and right channel controls. Any offset between left and right is maintained when the channel is linked. I.O. preamp controls are active whenever a preamp is available. Turn the preamp 48 volt phantom power on or off. Reverse the input polarity with these buttons. Preamp Analog Gain adjusts the analog input level of a digitally controlled preamp. Knob position is displayed in the value box. Adjust the channel's pre-process input with the channel input trim controls. Peak input level is displayed here. Red indicates that the user-adjustable clip threshold has been exceeded. Click on the meter or value box to clear the display. Meter behavior is set in the UI settings page. Pre or post trim metering. Clip threshold indicator level and clip and peak hold. The filter section controls a high-pass, low-pass filter that has been assigned in the plugin rack. Click a filter on and off. Slide up and down to adjust frequency. Input delay sets a user-defined delay between input sources. This is not associated with plug-in bus delay compensation. The channel ID box displays the user-defined channel name of the selected channel, as well as its channel index number within the layer. The color of this box matches the channel type color. This name is also displayed in the name box in the top bar. Inputs to mix channels are assigned from a list of all available channels and buses. The Open List button reveals a panel used to add buses to the channel. Click Add to open a drop-down menu of assignable sources. This list varies depending on the channel's place in the signal flow. The Q channel gets its sources from any channel or bus, except TalkBack. Any channel whose Q solo button is activated will appear in this list. Alternate input provides a fallback source when no Q channels are selected. The default is main, left, right. A group is a submix of input channels, so channels are the only available sources here. The input panel of an auxiliary channel shows all channels and groups that are sending to that aux. When an aux is turned off, it's removed from the list. You can copy the settings from the main bus or an aux mix bus. In the AUX layer, choose an AUX channel and open the Copy Mix From menu on the input panel. Channels, groups, and AUXes can be assigned to a main out channel. A matrix channel can accept input from any source except Q and TalkBack. Select up to 12 buses for each of the eight matrix channels. 
Each input assignment appears in a matrix channel send. When the 12 input limit is reached, the Add button is disabled until one or more source buses are removed. Links are a way to simultaneously adjust the controls of a set of channels. This is a list of the channels assigned to this link. Assigning a channel to a link also assigns it to a DCA fader. In this video, we got to know the channel window's input section. The workings of this section vary depending on the channel type. Some channels input from IOs and preamps, others from buses only. All of this depends on the channel's place in the signal flow. In the next lesson, we'll look at the plugin rack, where every plugin parameter can be controlled. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.